Hello and welcome to the eighth video on queue data structure where we'll discuss how to implement a queue using linked list. So prior to this in video number one, we have discussed about queue, what is queue, what are operations on queue, what are advantage of queue, what are applications of queue. And then video number two and three, we have discussed about linear queue, its algorithm, its program in C. And in video number four and five, we have discussed about circular queue, its algorithms, its program. And in video number uh, six, we have discussed about priority queue. In video number seven, we have discussed about double-ended queue, that is DQ, and today we will discuss how to implement queue using linked list. Fine. So, you know, if you are coming to this video, and if you do not have a concept of linked list, then somehow it will become tough for you to understand. But I will try my level best to make you understand uh, how these things are going on. But I request you, there are so many 64 videos on uh, linked list. Uh, you kindly watch uh, just only one or two videos on uh, uh, single linked list. It will become very easy for you to understand this topic. No? And second, you should have a concept of what? You should have a concept of uh, Q also. So let's start with implementation of Q using linked list. So first of all, in linked list, we create a node. And what is node? A node contains two parts. One is data. And one is address of another node. Hope if you know that if you have an idea, you you are understanding what I'm trying to tell you. Then this address is what address of next node. Fine. So again, this will contain data, and this will contain address of next node. Fine. Similarly. So what this node is all about? If I see this node, this node is having two parts. One data. Data can have integer, character, float, string. And address is what address of next node. Address of next node. That is node again, which is having a two part. Fine. So what I did, I created a structure. So I created a structure having name node you can put your name also you can put james you can put anna whatever you want so structure name node since why node i'm creating a node there are two part one data you can use data info whatever you can use int character whatever you want so one is data and second is what address for address we use pointer so i use pointer what why next next means to keep the address of next node you can put p q whatever you want now what is the data type of this pointer which is very important so data type of this pointer is not a simple integer character this pointer is what pointer is of data type struct node that is structure itself why because it's keeping the address of a node which is again a type of structure fine this is again having two parts so that's why this data type is struct node this is the important you have to understand now comes a second part i've created a variable of this structure having node one having name node one you can put it a b whatever you want now what i did i type defined this structure that is now this entire structure can be represented by node one that is this entire structure can be represented by node one so i have tried my level best to explain you what this structure is all about let's see if i see the structure of a node the structure of a node so what is this this is data in a node what is this address of next node and what is this address of this node fine so if i see this six is data this 300 is address of next node so let's move further so what i did first of all i have used the same structure which i have just explained so because i have to create a linked list so i have to use this structure so i have used this structure fine so let me make it very clearly i have to make a box i've used this structure fine why because uh, i have to make a uh, notes again now comes the second part since there is no queue now since there is no queue, the both pointer front and rear, I have created this pointer of node type, node 1 type. Why node 1 type? Because node 1 is a variable of this structure, which I have type defined. So, so what if I have not type defined this, then in place of node 1, I have to use struct node. Fine. So I have initialized both in null. Fine. Because there is no queue now. In main, what I did, I make a menu and it, I have, you know, uh, explained this menu 100 times. Uh, I, I say it not less than 100 times. So what is in function main? I've used a variable ch. Uh, in what is while one? While one means condition always true. Condition always true. Condition always true. Why? Because if you are putting something in while, 100 500 minus 2 minus 300 anything other than 0 is always true so condition is always true and when you go inside a while loop you have some printf statements that is if you press 1 you can enqueue if you press 2 you can dequeue if you press 3 you can display if you will press 4 you can exit from a program what is your choice this is the menu you have suppose you want to enqueue what you will press you will press 1 again the program come here sit switch will have one in case one you are calling an nq function so what is actually have taking place you are calling an nq function now what happens you are having this nq function you are having this nq in what happened you came inside and you created a pointer you created a pointer of type node one so you created a pointer of type 
node one so you created a pointer of type node one fine that's very fine that you created a pointer of type node one why uh, this node one then let's understand then i ask malloc what is malloc dynamic memory allocation function i ask malloc to create a size what is size of size of operator of which size node one what is node one this is what we have already explained to you that node one is of a structure you no know, definite uh, variable of a structure so what after executing this line what happened malloc created a node of size node one what is node one having two part one data and one address so this node is created so suppose this the address of this node is 200 so what malloc's written alloc malloc written address of the memory it create so to whom it will return the address tam so tam is a pointer and who which hold the address tam so because of that i have created tam as a pointer so tam will hold the address of this new node fine and what is node one i have type casted it why type casted it because malloc can return address of anything but i want malloc to return address of a node so i have type casted it with a pointer node one fine okay now what happens on on doing this on doing this a node is created and the name of this node is temp fine okay now first enter the data because you have created a node you will ask user to enter a data suppose user has entered five so at the at the address of temp in the data part you have entered five fine okay now you will see is front equal to null yes because initially what you did you made both front and rear as null so condition becomes true now so if condition becomes true what you will do temp next what is temp this node is temp what is next this part so what is temp 200 what is temp data 5 what is temp next i'm talking of this so temp next will have null because this is the only node there is no node after that so this will keep null and if you have seen my video of linked list it was becoming it was looking like uh, it might be looking like a very easy uh, things uh, which i am trying to tell you front equal to temp because since this is only the node so this will act as a front and this will act as a rear so front equal to temp what is there in temp 200 so for front will have 200 so i am representing front with f and rear with have temp what is there in temp 200 so rear will also come here so will i go to the else part no what I'll do, I'll come out of this. What will I'll come out of this NQ function? The moment I come out of this NQ function, this temp is a local variable. It will die. So temp is the local variable. It will die because front will after front and rear will die. No, because they are above main. They are global variable. They will not die. Fine. So what will happen? I'll go back from where I've received the call. I've received the call from this function. The next line of this is break. I'll come out of switch. What is this? This is while loop termination condition will i come out of while loop also no while will ask me to check the condition and on checking the condition i found that condition is again true so again you are getting multiple option one for q and q two for dq three for display uh, suppose you have pressed one again so ch will have one switch will have one in case one you are calling an nq function so what you are doing you are calling an nq function now you have already created one node what will happen you will again come here you will again create a pointer again you will ask malloc to create a node so what will it do malloc what will malloc do malloc will again create a node suppose the address of this node is 300 and this will pass to a temp because temp will again get created now what happens since we have created a node i will ask user to enter the data suppose user had entered six so in data part i have entered six now what will happen i'll check is front equal to null no condition becomes false because front is pointing to this node and what is this node 200 so always remember front do not have five front do not have null front is representing this node and rear is also representing this node and they both are pointer they will keep address of this node so address of this node is 200 so what is there in front 200 so i'll check is front equal to null no front is not null because front is 200 what will happen i'll go to the else part what i'll do in rear next what is rear this node in rear next i'm talking of this part in rear next i will insert temp what is temp temp is 300 so what will happen I will put 300 over here so what will happen rear will start pointing to this node because this is keeping the address of this node rear is equal to temp i know that the last node is rear fine so last node what is temp 300 so rear will come to the temp part find okay and rear next since there is nothing after rear so what i'll do i'll put null here there fine so what actually happens so now rear is pointing to the last node and what i why i'm doing this L let me tell you the complexity if i say q then a q is only a q when for insertion it should take order of one time and for deletion it should take order of one time so from deletion from where we delete from we delete from front so do i have a front pointer over here yes and from delete for end i should delete from end do i have a right 
uh, no uh, tail pointer over uh, delete from front yes and for insertion i insert from right so uh, from rear so uh, do i have a rear pointer over here yes so in that case our insertion and deletion both will take what order of one time fine okay now what will happen again i'll come out again i'll go to the same main again somebody pressed one again a node will created and similarly what will happen let me show you the diagram then so what will happen i have created this four nodes where front is pointing the node having value 5 and having address 100 and rear is pointing to the last node having address 400 having value 8 fine so this is how i have called nq function on on inserting four node i found okay it's okay now my job is done what i'll do i'll come i'll go back where i'll go back from where i've received the call from here the next line is break i'll come out of switch why can i come out of while loop no while will not let me to come out while will, while will ask me to go and check the condition on checking the condition i found oh condition is again true so what will happen since the condition is again true i'll again have a multiple option now i pressed two for dq so this ch will have two C switch will have two and in case two i'm calling a dq function so i'm calling a dq function fine so i'm calling a dq function so dq function is very small and I, it's very easy dq means what dq means delete from front no because deletion takes place from front so uh, i have created this pointer temp which is of node one type and what is node one i have already explained to you fine i'm not going to explain what what i'll do now here what i'll do now here see this i've created a uh, pointer temp uh, make it ptr because uh, by mistake i have used this temp so make it ptr fine okay so i've created a pointer of time type node one tweak and i have a link list this now i have to delete the front element that is this is the portion i have to delete so when i delete this element where front will point front will point here fine that is this is the circle node i have to delete what will happen see what i did i put ptr is a pointer i put ptr equal to front so what is the value of front 100 so because front is pointing to this node so what i did i i started pointing ptr will start pointing front so ptr and front are pointing to the same node what will happen front will go to the next part front will have front next so what is front next 200 so front will come from here this place to this place now front is pointing to this node fine but ptr is still remain there so what i'll do i'll print on the screen deleted element is equal to percentage d and in percentage d i'll print ptr data what is ptr data 5 so screen will have ptr deleted element is equal to 5 and it will look very nice yes 5 was my first element and what i'll do next i'll use dynamic memory allocation function free which will free the memory allocated by malloc so it will free this ptr what is ptr this node so it will free this node so on making this node free what will happen the structure will look like this that 5 is deleted now the remaining link list is some the remaining uh, queue is something like that where front is now pointing to the node having to the node having address 200 and value 6 and rear is pointing to a node having address 600 and value 10 fine so hope you understand hope you understood hope you understood uh, the uh, nq and dq functions what will happen i'll again go back and i'll again go back i'm so sorry uh, again go back from where i have received the call i have received the call from here the next line is break i'll come out of the switch will i come out of the while loop while loop will ask me to go and check the condition on checking the condition i found the condition is again true so what i'll do i'll again have a menu now i pressed three so on pressing three what will happen so uh switch will have three S switch will have three i'll jump to the case three now and i'm calling a display function so let me call a display function I'm sorry, I should call a display function. Let me go back. I should call a display function. So th this is a display function and I have to display uh, uh, this. So what I did, I created a pointer of type node one. What is node one? I have already explained you. What is, this is your, you know, after deletion, you got this. So this is your uh, queue where there are four elements where front is pointing to the node having address 100 and value five and rear is pointing to the node having address 400 and value eight. Now you have to, print this what you will do you will again use the same thing is front equal to null no front is not null because front is pointing to 100 if front is null, you simply write q is empty since now front is not null i'll not write q empty i'll go to the else part i'll initialize ptr what is ptr pointer with front what is front 100 so i'll ptr initialize ptr with 100 so what will happen ptr will come here fine this is the first part second part i'll check is ptr not equal to null yes true 
PTR is not null because PTR is 100. Condition is true. When the condition becomes true, I'll move inside. I'll not increment. I'll move inside the loop. And there I found a, a, a you no know, in a body part that I have to print PTR data. What is PTR data 5? So I will print 5. By this tab, I'll make a space. Fine. Okay, what I'll do? I'll again go up and increment PTR. So what I'm doing with PTR? On incrementing PTR, that is PTR will have PTR next. So what is PTR next? 200. So PTR will come from this place to this place. Again, I'll go to the second condition and check. Is PTR not equal to null? Yes, PTR is not null because PTR is 200. Again, I'll go move inside and print PTR data. What is PTR data 6? So I'll print 6. Fine. Okay, I'll again move up and increment PTR. PTR will have PTR next. What is PTR next? 300. So what will happen? PTR will come to the node 300, having address 300. Again, I'll check is PTR not null? Yes, PTR is not null. I'll move inside and print PTR data. What is PTR data? 7. So I'll print 7. What will happen? Again, I'll increment PTR. PTR will have PTR next. What is PTR next? 400. So PTR will now finally come to the node ha having uh, rear pointer also. So again, I'll check is PTR not null? Yes, PTR is not null because PTR is 400. So again, I'll move inside and print PTR data. What is PTR data? Is 8. PTR data and rear data both are same. So I'll print 8. What will happen? I'll again go and increment PTR. PTR will have PTR next. What is PTR next? Now null. So the current value of PTR becomes now null. Again, I'll go to the second condition. Is PTR not null? Yes. Now PTR is null. So condition becomes false. I'll come out of the loop that is here and then I'll come out of the function. So finally, I have a print statement which has printed 5, 6, 7 and 8. And you can see that our queue has these elements 5, 6, 7 and 8.